The race is a three hour format and there is a regulation within the championship which says that you cannot go more than 70 minutes. So roughly these cars are going to stop every hour and they'll change drivers, topped up with fuel and a set of new Pirellis. Well the way qualifying works in the Blanc Plan Championship is that uh, the drivers go out in their ID number so it's going to be Stan starting off uh, in the number 80 car, uh, sorry, in the number 35 car, and it'll be Nick in the number 80 car. So I've just said to those guys, look, the track's very damp, it's very greasy. Uh, you're not going to be getting the opportunity to set qualifying times because the countries are going to improve. So I've just told them no risk at all. Complete the three laps that are required to qualify for the race, and that's about all we expect from them. So simply no risk is the order. A little bit, bit nervous for the guys out there. You know, it's their first time on slicks out there, so a um, little bit, bit nervous for them. And. Uh, yeah, I've just got to do my thing at the end there with the light fuel load and uh, yeah, we'll see where we end up. But yeah, you know, I should like to be in the top 10 for sure. You always feel a bit nervous, obviously, um, no matter how many times you do it. The weather is dry right now. We have some part of the track where it's wet, but I think I try uh, on the wet tires, so I think now it's uh, completely slick. So uh, time goes up every time. So we'll see. We went to near the back end of like the 15 minutes just because it was, it was damp out, um, but it seemed to dry up pretty darn quickly. So we put on flex, went out, got a few laps in, um, went purple in sector one, um, and then we were red flag. So ended a little bit short, but yeah, feeling good. Looking forward to the race. You know, although we got the uh, hole in the class uh, here last year, you know, P2, you know, it's fine, you know, it's, uh, it's a real shame because we got it red flag there at the end and uh, apparently I was two tenths up in the first sector, so uh, yeah, and we were only a tenth off the pole. Qualifying went quite well. We tried two sets of new tyres in the last session. Alex finished up the second in Pro-Am, third overall, and uh, Gio Sam was 20th, which is about eighth in Pro-Am. So. Gio was unlucky. He's on new rubber right at the end and there was a red flag. So unfortunately for him, he didn't get the clear lap on the new rubber. Well, we're, we're uh, exactly 30 minutes, yeah, 34 minutes from the start of the pit lane opening, which is actually, the t that's the time for us when the race starts, when the pit lane opens. Round two of the Blanc Pan Endurance Series is underway. Now the lights go green. The car thunder off down towards Cobb's corner. There's an Audi already. The Chinese car running onto the curb. On the inside line, Alex Bunker tries to go through, but he gets, in the end, muscled down the order because Guy Smith comes around on the outside. Pareb leads the way, and I think Bunker got held up by the Porsche. Yeah, great start. Both cars um, have survived the first couple of laps, which is uh, you know, all you can hope for. Um, Al got boxed in somewhat at the start. The pole position car didn't get off the line very well, so he got boxed in, dropped to fifth, but it's made it back to fourth. And the front four cars are, are pulling away nicely from, uh, from the main pack behind. Gio um, started P20, and uh, he's making up a few positions. He's currently P15, so he's going in the right direction as well. So, one way to go, Ronnie. 10 minutes in, 2 hours 50 to go, so let's not keep out of trouble, but the pace looks good. What I thought was going to happen in the first corner did, unfortunately the gentleman driver in the, the Porsche in front of the start was unfortunately really slow through turn one and that allowed two, two cars passed on the outside of me into one, so not much I could do, but I, I luckily got past him into Beckett's and uh, yeah, I just had to push from there and I could see in my mirrors he was holding the guys up uh, in the spots behind me, so that, that helped me out, that gave me a bit of breathing space. Back to this animal's going on behind, and we've got an Aston Martin with his lights on. Well, there's a surprise. 
Do you think that's an indication that the Aston's going to drive through? This is for the class lead. So, so class lead, John indeed. Lee leading Joe Osborne. That absolutely knows the tail. Joe Osborne up the inside. Done it. No brainer. There you go. Easy. And in fairness, Nick McMillan was probably well advised to let him go because Joe's a much more experienced driver. And a change for the lead in Pro Am. Cars just completed their second pit stop. Some of the guys have left ahead because they've still got pit stops to come. So I think we should, uh, when all those pit stops shake themselves out, be in P2, but with a smaller gap to the guys behind. So there's a little bit of pressure, I suppose, now on, uh, on Florian in the number 80 car. Well, with 42 minutes to go, we get a safety car. Who's going to be the winner out of this one, then, would you think? Yeah, the safety car comes out when there's been a big incident, and um, it should pick up the leader. Unfortunately, it didn't pick up the leader. It picked up um, the car just ahead of us. So it looked for a, a few minutes there that we were going to go a lap down, uh, but actually the safety car's allowed us past. Um, and there was actually at the outright list, the leader was directly behind us. So now it's worked completely out there because now we'll have effectively um, three quarters of a lap to uh, the car that's directly behind us in the race. I'm really nervous. Got, yeah, 20 minutes to go, we're in a, a great position. Pro Am, we we'll be talking about it much. It is still the Nissan ahead. So Florian Strauss ahead of Mark Paul, and then third in the category is Eugenia. Surprisingly for me, we finally got the one in class, which was a big surprise after pit stop. We went second and had a little bit of luck, I think, with the safety car as well. And yeah, so we are really happy, I think. The Alex let me drop league as well, so it's good to be first time on podium this season, same as the last year. And we are looking forward now to maybe do the same as last year and able to defend our, our titles.